Alrighty, YouTube. This is what you call getting projects done when you're stuck in the house due to uh, the coronavirus. What we have here is a very cheap, this was, I think, purchased at Best Buy. I'll give you a quick history of this guitar. This is a Gibson Maestro. I think this was purchased at Best Buy around Christmas time for my niece. Who thought she wanted to play guitar? And she didn't. That's six, seven years ago. So it sat around her house. You can see the dust. Uh, so that was purchased from my niece by my oldest brother. Then he gave it to one of my other brothers who put a new set of strings on it. And uh, yeah, he said it sounded like crap. He said this was microphonic. He said, these don't stay in tune. And, well, and sharp fret edges, which I guess he didn't want to deal with. I mean, they are some very... You can see my hand stop on the frets, especially... You can see the ripple in my hand, my thumbs. So they're very sharp. They're not flush with the edge of the fretboard. Other than that... <laughs> other than that... But there are some saving graces to this guitar. It's simple. Volume control, tone control, which we'll put some new knobs on there. I'll go. I just got a coupon in the mail just a couple moments ago for 16% off uh, Guitar Center. So I'm guessing that their business is a little light because of this uh, coronavirus. So anyway, one nice thing about it is, is it does have the standard Gibson uh, open book uh, headstock there. Unlike the, unlike the Epiphone, which have it kind of cut right there. This is a bolt on neck. No chips in the paint, and uh, a very, very dry fretboard. And now there is no fretware because nobody's ever played this guitar. So we're going to get to this and uh, do some changing around. And uh, yeah, walk with me on this journey.
All right, I'm gonna plug along on this, and then uh, yeah, see how it goes. All right, I got these nice and smooth now, as pretty smooth as they're gonna get, without cutting into the, the fretboard itself. That one's a little tall right there. Just a little. Nice. All right, change of plan. These tuners are not going to work out for me because they're all the same side. What do I mean by that? You see how they're exactly the same configuration? So these tuners are designed to go uh, on a guitar that have them all in one direction. Because if I install this, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I already thought about this too. So when I put this in, let's see here. If I can get this right. All right, you see how they're goofy and offset when they should be directly across from one another? Right. So, you see the bodies have all the screws on the same side, so they're all like that. And no, I can't pull this uh, uh, arbor out and reverse them because uh, the bodies have this little nipple only on one side. So I have to go to Guitar Center and buy some new tuners. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised to see that this guitar is not plywood. It's solid. It might be alder, maybe even bass. I don't know, but it's a solid body. Regardless, there's our old pickup. And we'll pull that out. You can see it's just a cheap junkie. ROHS, you know, the ROH solder. That's a, that's a import label for the type of solder that they're supposed to use, which is ve has very little lead in it. But it also doesn't last, so, you know, be leery of anything that says ROHS. Plan on having some failures. All right, let's get this out. All right, guys, I had to prep this pickup. So I had to solder a, a ground lead onto the shield here, as you can see. So now I'm going to bring some shrink tubing up here just to uh, make it look nice, you know. There we go. Let me see that. We'll shrink that down. I have a lighter here somewhere. Indeed I do. I could use my soldering iron, but this is better. Quicker. There, just like downtown. See that? So this is mine here, which I'll trim down. This is my ground. And this is my hot. Alright, so yeah, I'll trim this down, because it's kind of big, but I soldered, I tend the whole thing, so. Oh, there we are, much nicer. Keep your uh, cables nice. So yeah, those are ready to go in. So let's desolder that guy over there. That one, right over there. We'll drop this guy in. All right, so we got the new pickup in. Amplifier, pickup. Pickup works. So yeah, I have to, uh, I'm just gonna oil my board here and restring it. And put the old tuners back on because, uh, yeah, I had to order them. Turns out, Tire Center took some pressure from the public. And you know what? I kind of don't blame the public. Uh, Guitar Center deemed themselves as an essential business. And uh, little did I know that they were ordered to shut down. And all they did was modify their hours. So they were open all last week, noon to 7, when they should have been closed completely. So needless to say, they're closed now. So anyway... I'm uh, going to button these uh, old tuners back up, oil my board, restring it, and uh, give it a little try out. All right, I'm going to put a little uh, linseed oil on here and uh, really condition this uh, fretboard because that sucker is dry. Mm-hmm. It 
needs it. It needs it also badly. And then, uh, you see how dry that is? I don't know if you actually really do see how dry it is, but you will right now. See? Rub this shit in. Because it's thirsty. Oh, yeah. I'll finish up the whole board here. I'll come back with a clean rag. And wipe it. Wipe any excess off. Wipe any of the pieces of my paper towel off that are getting left behind. And uh, we'll be right back. Just wiping down here. Looking really good. It's not looking as thirsty. Not for sure. Now before I start putting these things back together, wipe this entire thing down. It's uh, definitely needed some TLC. So there we go. I'll pull this thing off finally. Piece. I'm going to wipe that down before we put it on. A lot easier to wipe down now. And, uh, yeah. Cheap tail piece. We're going to go with. Ernie Ball, Mega Slinky. So these are 10.5 to 48. So, yeah, why not? Why not? That's what I buy. These tuners are fighting me tooth and nail. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
adjustments here. A little sharp. A little flat. So, out that way, in that way. Out that way, in that way. So, yeah, be right back. Well, I guess that's as about as good as it's going to get with those crappy tuners on there. So, uh, yeah. Alright, well, until I get my tuners, that's as far as I'm going. So anyway, let's have a look. Nice clean. Nice moisturized fretboard. Sharpness of the uh, frets are gone, which is really nice. There's our beautiful new pickup. Not that the cosmetic matter, cosmetics matter, but uh, compared to that, which is that old cheap Chinese junk, that just a paperweight. And uh, I think I'm going to order the Clusan 195s for this because uh, why not? I came this far. And uh, this can be a player. Not that I'm a guitar player, I'm a noodler. But I love to work on these things. And uh, yeah. So, yeah. There's the Maestro by Gibson. Les Paul Jr. Beautiful guitar. It will be. For a cheap guitar, it can be playable. Yeah. Hollow Pout, thanks for watching my videos.